Flick Nation. Yeah. Let's hear it for him. <laughs> Dennis, uh, hey, I'm sorry for all the riffraff, bro. You know, it's just the cave attracts that degenerate. Hey, man, this is like my living room. Yeah, it's okay, all good. there you go. <laughs> Gravity brings everything down to us. I have a four year old, I'm used to it. There you go. That's how it is, man. It's all destruction. So, Flick Nation, tell us about your book. Uh, you know, I'm I'm a film critic on KGO Radio, and uh, I, I John Stanley's a good friend of mine, and I, I I go to WonderCon conventions with him, and I see him selling a pile of books, and I thought I want a book. I thought, but seriously, you know, I write reviews, you know, uh, in bullet form, and I it, it just became kind of an experiment to see if we could do it, and it's been a lot of fun. I, I, I'm learning how to promote a book, so that's kind of an interesting art in itself. How, how many movies uh, do you cover in this? book? Five hundred plus, and uh -huh. there's a lot of straight to DVD stuff. It's one thing I, I it occurred to me when I was looking at other books like that mm -hmm. is that. Uh, Everybody kind of glosses over the direct to DVD stuff, and that's become such a big and legitimate, uh, you know, kind of uh, release pipeline. So, no doubt, I love watching yeah. new movies that go straight to DVD because mm -hmm. you don't have to get dressed, you don't have to leave your house, you can just sit around <laughs> your underwear and watch the new movie. You know what I mean? And you know, people like you know, Morgan Freeman, Meryl Streep, all these movies are going. There used to be a stigma, you know, direct right. to DVD, you know, it must be crap. Well, now you've got these these perfectly good grown up dramas. Yeah. Because you know, uh, it, it's not a film with somebody with like a superhero cape. It yeah. goes straight to DVD. Straight so. to DVD used to mean just my porn collection. <laughs> now it's expanded. Sorry, we didn't review any of those. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> next, That's all right. The next I think one. they all got the same rating from him. <laughs> awesome. I'm not touching. So that. is this all the movies? Just recent ones? No, no it's the last two and a half years. Huh. Yeah, as current as uh, last September. So. And do you rank them and stuff? No, I, you know you got to read. You know, I mean, everybody's like, you're gonna do like the stars? No, you know it's a, it's a paragraph. You got to read it. But you know, it's it's not as easy just to say something good or uh, there's good or bad about every film. You know, uh, some are just a little bit better than others. So we just tried to come from that perspective and you know it's not written from high up on the mountain I'm a dude who pays ten bucks and I want a good time and that's kind of where it comes from you yeah. know it's like I, I sit down okay I get to see him for free and I get screeners and stuff but I still it's two hours of my time right. I want to have a good time where, you know? where, where do you think the future of movie making is going I know there's a lot of talk about 3d TV straight right. to DVD all this stuff where's the future going I don't know you know 3d is the hot thing right now thanks to you know and thanks James Cameron because actually 3d doesn't suck anymore uh, that was like the best 3d I've ever seen in Avatar and so we're going to get the 3D TV networks, and we'll see. But when that's done, it'll be something else. All right, since we're in Ball Rocks Cave, i got to ask you, best horror movie of all time. Oh, man, I don't know. You know, I Exorcist, like... Exorcist, right? I like, well, yeah, sure, Exorcist. I like them psychological. Silence of the Lambs, Pans, Labyrinth. I love Shaun of the Dead. It's a great uh, movie. Uh, excuse me. What about Murder Mansion, oh, tonight's movie? Oh, yeah, right, right. Where can people get your book? How do they get a hold of you? Amazon.com, FlickNation.net, or DennisWillis.net. Look at that. Three ways.